Good morning, kids. Welcome to worship. Welcome to our time with you. You all know that I wear glasses, right? You've never really seen me without them. I've worn them since I was about seven years old. That's a long time, believe me. I don't even wanna think about how long that is. Anyway, I have to wear my glasses because if I don't, if I take them off, you're just a blur. I can't really see your eyes or your nose or your mouth. I just see a blur. But when I put my glasses on, they help me to see you just the way you are, the way you are for real. This morning's scripture about the transfiguration is just like my glasses. It helps us to see Jesus for who he really is. But first, it helped Jesus' disciples to see him for who he really was. Jesus and three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, went up onto a mountain. They started out late, so it took a long time to get there. And when they got to the top, they were tired and the disciples fell asleep. Can you make a sleepy face? Maybe like that, or maybe like the emoji we see on your mama's cell phone. They're sleeping. That's what happened to the disciples. They fell asleep. It wasn't very long before something happened. A bright light woke them up. And do you know what that bright light was? Well, they became wide awake. Can you make a wide awake face? You can't see my eyes from my glasses, but that's a wide awake face. Their eyes flew open and they saw Jesus like they've never seen him before. He shone. There was a bright light all around him. His clothes were whiter than white. In fact, whiter than your mama can get your clothes when she uses bleach. He was dazzling, they say. And they started to see Jesus in a different way for who he really was. They were wide awake to him. But then something else happened. Two other men appeared beside Jesus. One was Elijah and one was Moses. And when they saw that, they were surprised. <gasps> they couldn't believe their eyes to actually see Elijah and Moses. And they were talking to Jesus about his future mission here on earth. Then something else happened. The, the skies became dark and gray and Elijah and Moses disappeared and the light was gone and Peter, James, and John became afraid. A surprise face can almost be an afraid face. I can do an afraid face. <gasps> you know, it scares you. And then they heard a voice and that voice said, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. And when they heard that voice, all of a sudden they weren't afraid anymore. It was God talking to them. And God made them feel reassured. That means they were comforted. They were at peace. This story is like my glasses. My glasses help me to see you the way you really are. This story about the transfiguration helps us to see Jesus as he really was. He was more than a man. He was more than a prophet. He was the son of God. Peter, James, and John knew that as they came down off the mountain, and now we know it too. It helps us to see the real Jesus and to appreciate him and all that he can do as the son of God. Jesus is God's one and only son. He looked like a normal person, but he was really someone very, very special. God wants us to listen carefully to Jesus and everything that he has to teach us through all the stories of the Bible. So listen close when you read a Bible story and think about how 
you can put it to work in your life. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, that he loves us and he came to save us. Help us to listen to Jesus and see what is real. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And amen. Our next song for this morning is My Faith Looks Up to Thee.